Alright, what's going on everybody? Rat Trenches is back for another video. Today, as you can see, we got the beautiful Audi S3. And by the title, you can tell we're going to be installing some parts. It's been a long time since we were able to get some parts for the S3. We've been waiting for a while. Today's the day. We're going to provide you guys with some content. And uh, enough of me talking. Let's get right into it. So we went ahead and actually took everything out of the box and laid it down here so you can see a little more visually. Um, but before we get into it, I want to shout out Dave from ECS. He's the one that hooked us up and um, we're super grateful for you if you're watching. Thank you, Dave. Um, but if you guys want to get this kit for yourself, we'll link it down below. Um, this is the direct style catch can. They do offer a universal style. But this one's going to be the direct and it's just going to be a little more plug and play compared to the universal. But briefly, let's just kind of go over what we got here. In this box, we got our nice anodized aluminum catch can. Got the black, it's gonna be a little sleek and kind of fit in my engine bay a little bit better and a little bit more discreet. We got some PCV adapters here, another adapter as well. And then we got our bracket with all the hardware that's gonna be connecting this or mounting this to the spot in the engine bay. We got some clips that are just gonna go on the, uh, the AN lines which are gonna kind of hold them together so they're not going in two separate ways. Like I said, we got our AN lines here and then we got our sleeve which is just gonna protect these lines from where they sit kind of close to the turbo kind of just prevent them from getting heat on them and possibly melting. So before we get into it, I just kind of want to quickly provide you with an overview of how it's going to sit and where everything's going to route. Um, let's just get this cover out of the way. So the catch can is going to sit here and the return line and the feed line are going to run to one of those PCV adapters that is going to connect right here, which connects to the diaphragm itself. Um, it's a pretty straightforward install. Um, there's just a lot of steps, a lot of tedious steps to get this job done. So we're going to provide you guys with a really in-depth tutorial. But yeah, let's just start cracking away and get right into it. So the first step we're actually going to do is pretty much just get this catch can and assemble it with the bracket and all the hardware just to get it ready to be mounted up where it's going to go. Um, so let's just do that first. Get this bad boy out of here. And we're actually just going to have to unscrew it. That's the inside of the catch can if you've never seen one. You'll have to be maintaining that. Let's get this bracket open. And this is just going to sit inside like that. There we go. Put this guy back in. Alright, so this is just going to go over here and sit just like that. And the feed line and the return line are just going to route around to there. So what we're going to have to do now is just disconnect this bolt that's holding this washer fluid in to 10 millimeter. And we're just going to have to relocate that a little bit. So we're just going to take that, get that thing out of the way. You can see the bolt right there. Good. It kind of goes right into, it looks like, the engine mount. All right. Got that. Set it aside. Now this thing should be a little loose and pretty much essentially it's just going to be pushed over to like there. It's just going to be kind of out of the way. And that's where these little hardware comes in handy. We're going to have to open that up. Got a little Loctite, a little screws, and I'll show you guys how to set that up. Now that we opened up that little kit with all the hardware, we're going to take this little piece right here. It's got threads on both sides. We're going to put a little blue Loctite, pop open that guy, kind of just put it on those threads in there. All right, not coming out, there we go. All right, so now that we got the blue Loctite in there, we're actually going to put this, if you come over here, you can see that little bolt down there that's holding the engine mount in. It's got a little stud on top of it almost. This is going to thread in onto that. So we'll just kind of put that in there. I'll get my hand out of the way in a second. All right, so now that I got it bottomed out, you can see it just kind of holds it in place. And that's where the bracket's going to mount up to and then using that existing hole there. We are going to tighten it. We got a 13 millimeter. We're going to use a deep socket and just kind of turn it down just a little bit more. Just got to be careful. It doesn't have to be too, too tight. It's just holding a little bracket. You don't want to snap the top of that bolt off. But now we got that there, so that's secure. We're going to take our little spacer here 
and that's just going to go on top of the washer. And then we'll be able to take this bracket and it's just going to go like that. So they give us two screws. We got a long one and we got a short one. They're Allen keys. The long one is going to go on the uh, with the, the spacer and it's going to thread all the way back into that engine mount. And then the small one is just going to go with that new bracket we put in place. I'm just going to get them in there for now and then I'm going to tighten them down with the Allen key. And it is a five millimeter Allen key, so we're just going to snug them down. So that's pretty much going to be a wrap for over there for now. We got that nice and secure and just kind of held in. But we're going to make our way over here now. And we're kind of going to be fooling with this coil pack right here. We are going to have to disconnect all the coil um, connectors, which is just a flathead, pry these up and just kind of get them out of the way. But we are going to have to remove the ground on this one and then the coil pack itself just to get access to this because this is where we're going to be working. So let's go ahead and just kind of pop these little coil packs up. You can take a flathead, any kind of pry tool. Just got to be gentle with them because they do break very easily. If they break, don't be alarmed. It's not the end of the world. You just got to make sure it makes contact. And ECS states that uh, you only have to get these on the first three cylinders here. Um, you only have to get them up a little bit. It's just this one you have to get off because we are going to be removing this coil. So I'm just going to get these out of the way a little bit like that. Every time I push this one in, it pushes that one on. There we go. I'm struggling. A few moments later. All right, so we got these all disconnected. Let's go ahead and disconnect this ground here. It is a 10 millimeter. Um, just be careful because these wires tend to uh, twist and break. So just kind of make sure you're doing it nice and careful. Set that to the side. Get this guy. And boom, now that's out. Right, we're just going to go ahead and break that loose. That is a 10 as well. Boom. Now we'll be able to, most of the time you'll be able to pull it up with ease. But in this case, it's not. So I'm going to use a little pry tool. Just be careful on what you're prying against. You don't want to break nothing. There's a lot of plastic around here. But you just need a little bit of an umph and come up. Boom. I'll set that aside and we'll start fooling with this guy. So now that we got the ignition cool out of the way, we're going to be getting this T30 out of the way and then that hose that connects to the turbo outlet itself, we'll get that out of the way. But first, let's just go ahead and crank this bad boy loose. Just set that aside. I believe we got new hardware for our new setup. Um, but if you come over here, Wes, under I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Might be hard to uh, see. But under this hose right here, there's a little tab that's coming from the PCB, um, the valve. You push it down and it releases um, the tension on this guy so you'll be able to move it out of the way. It's kind of hard to show on camera because it's hidden, but you could see it down here. You just kind of push on it and you'll be able to lift this guy up and it'll come off as an assembly. All right. If you come over here, you can see that tab I was talking about, it's right there. So what you do is you just kind of push down on it. You could use a flathead or whatever you got and it'll allow this to um, escape. So now what we're gonna do is take the end over here that connects to the turbo outlet and we're kind of just gonna wiggle that out and you'll just have to kind of rotate the hose and sneak it up out of here because you're not gonna be reusing that. All right, so off camera, we're fighting it for a little bit. The hose that connects to the, uh, my apologies, I said the outlet. This is the inlet pipe, so it's just connected to there. It's a little trouble to get it off, so but then you just have to snake it under this coolant line and uh, through here. So now what you want to do is just kind of clean up this area, some of the oil just kind of leaks everywhere. But that's what the purpose of the uh, catch can is to catch all that oil and not let it get in your intake track. It's actually going to put it into the uh, catch can and just accumulate it and then you empty that on the way out. It'll just keep this clean and you won't get any uh, oil into where it's not supposed to be. So now what we're gonna do, just kinda, like I said, clean it up down there. And we're gonna take this package here. It's got the little bracket here. And then this guy is gonna get connected to the back here. So 
We're gonna go ahead, open this thing up, and we'll see you guys in a sec. So as you just saw, so we got everything bound up to the PCV valve there. Now the last piece of the puzzle is just going to be uh, connecting these AN lines. So let's go ahead and open them up. We'll show you how to route them properly. And nothing beats AN lines. It's just so freaking perfect, man. Love them. All right. And then we'll open up this little uh, heat shield, sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Damn, this wind is killer. Oh, nice little patch here. That's a pretty nice touch, man. So we got this open here, just kind of like pry it up. And now let's see how to route these. So you got a 90 and you got a straight and then you kind of got like a 45, I'd say. Um, the 45s with the threads on them, see these are threaded and then these ones are inside. Um, we're gonna take the threaded sides and they're gonna connect here. And then these will connect to over there. And then we also just gotta remember to Open up this guy right here. And this is gonna go on one of these, which is gonna connect to that uh, turbo inlet. just saw um, we wrapped everything up pretty much just kind of routed all the lines and everything we might figure out a different way to route them a little bit but for right now we're gonna do it how they recommend uh, the only line we go under is this little coolant line here and then we go under one of these wires here and it's just a nice snug fit I'm really impressed with the kit and just the quality of all this, the uh, the parts and materials that ECS supplied so right now we're gonna put the engine cover on and uh, kind of wrap up today's video all right, so I mean, it's not hidden. It's kind of hidden in plain sight, I'd say, actually. Um, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. So yeah, it's a it's a really fairly easy install, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more S3 content, let us know. Give us ideas on what to do. I, I know I'm kind of limited on what, what else to do. The next thing would really be upgrade, you know, the bigger turbo, but right now I don't want to do that because this is my daily. Uh, but if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see, let us know because we're really trying to get this thing back on the channel while the Mustang's down and out for the count right now. 
So that's pretty much gonna conclude today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a big thumbs up, comment. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever it is, just let us know down below and we'll see you in the next one, peace.